sharing the screen now, you can see Micah's he's 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 gotten into a fight with the queen of MMT. And I just it kind of blows my mind that you know, you'd figure Stephanie Kelton just simply would have better things to do. You know, I I don't know. The thing that's b- bizarre about this is that this is part of a long thread. She says the debt crisis is always supposedly nipping at our heels. That's when you point out, hey, well, interest payments as a percent of GDP or as a percentage of our budget, I should say, are actually pretty, you know, pretty big, right? You know, big interest payments, potentially not a good sign, right? And then she actually responds back, says it's a policy choice. Issuing treasuries is an anachronistic policy based on the gold standard. If we don't like it, we can stop any time That's, and then that was insane biz- hold on well, biz- i don't know because bizarrely enough you get into a bit of a back and forth with stephanie kelton here are you suggesting just we just automatically monetary finance all expenditures that are not offset by taxation and then you see this is where mmtiers lose a lot of people she goes into like the real technical speak when you understand monetary operations you know that we already monetary finance all expenditures the bond sales drain the reserves that are added via the deficit. So the burden of paying interest shifts from the Federal Reserve to the Treasury. So, Micah, for the people at home, can you translate what she's saying? Because this is yeah, one wait, of those wait. MMT things where it's like, what are they can, what are they saying, Micah? <laughs> can you scroll up a little bit uh, to show like her response to my tweet? Um, that was this. Like her, quote, her quote to my tweet. Right here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So right now, we fund a certain percentage of the budget with taxes, and the rest we offset by issuing bonds, borrowing money. Um, she says we don't need to do that. Uh, we don't, whenever, we ha- whenever we don't have enough taxes to cover our current spending, we don't need to issue bonds. And rather, um, the central bank can just grant that money uh, to, to the federal government to spend. Um, now, that is what we call monetary finance. Instead of debt financing um, your spending, you are financing it with printing new dollars, monetary financing. Uh, barely any countries in the world actually do this. Uh, Venezuela, Zimbabwe, uh, both very famous for uh, having very low inflation. And the UK did this for a short period of time uh, during COVID. Now, her argument against uh, my question, which is, you know, are you suggesting that we monetary finance everything? That's a little bit crazy is that actually she thinks that we monetary all finance all spending and we tax and borrow on the back end. She says, well, technically, technically we do print money to finance all expenditures, and then later we borrow money and tax to offset it. Now, to me, whether you think that we print the money first and we offset it later, or we offset it first, and then we spend the money that we offset it with, it doesn't matter. The, the real question I have is, do you think we should be able to fund a certain percentage of the budget or, you know, not just be able to to fund a certain percentage of the budget with printed dollars um and she she thinks the answer to that is yes yeah yeah i mean a lot of immateers will say and and to be fair i mean on paper it's not necessarily like irrational what they're saying right because what they're saying is hey we we do this process where we call out for bonds in the market you know and the market kind of creates money or gives money to the government one way or another and then the government injects, you know, or uh, what do you call it? The, the government gets that money and then returns a bond to those people. And then the government pays back the bond over time. And materials will just say, well, you can just get rid of this whole bond process and just print the money. Like the reason you're issuing the bond is because there's a demand for the currency. So you can take that currency and just spend it directly anyway. Right. And so, you know, this doesn't have to be a super long topic, but what's the in that world, like what's the utility of bonds? You know, is it, is it just that they're a financial instrument? Well, if they're just a financial instrument, uh, do we really need them? You know? Yeah. I mean, MMTers um, make a good point, but they hide it with tons of unclear nonsense. Um, <laughs> the, the good point is that, Hey, you know, maybe using interest rates to manage the amount of demand in the price level is not ideal, right? Because whenever you cut interest rates, people, you know, borrow more and they spend more, but they spend more concentrated in certain sectors, right? So you're not increasing demand economy-wide, maybe in the way you'd want to. And similarly, when you raise interest rates, you hurt more sectors other than other, uh, more than others, which you, you don't really want that sectorally distorted impact. 
Also, you know, mo modifying interest rates all the time can affect business inv in uh, investment rates. Having continuously low interest rates is better for businesses because that means they can, uh, you know, a lot of that credit go goes to financing capital expenditures and investments, uh, which help grow the economy. So maybe we want to keep that low all the time. And so what they say is, well, maybe instead of using interest rate changes to manage demand, we can use tax changes. So whenever we need more demand, we could just print money, give it to the government, and the government can lower taxes or raise spending. And whenever uh, you know we need to take money out of the economy and reduce demand, we could just charge the government and say, hey, government, you know, uh, you need to cut spending or raise taxes. And I think theoretically, that could work. Um, I don't think there's any practical world in which that would ever happen, or we'd give the central bank some independent authority control over how much we tax. But I think like they're on a theoretical level, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, that seems like a decent idea. Okay, okay, well, there you go. There's there's Micah's quick spat with the queen of MMT, Stephanie Kelton, on Twitter. That looks crazy. All, those, all those extra Twitter followers are extending Micah's economic reach. You know, now he can get in spats with Stephanie Kelton. Eventually, he'll be, you know, getting in spats with, uh, I don't know, who's the most famous economist on Twitter? Asim Oglu or something? Oh, okay. Krugman, maybe. You're going to get in some back and forth with Krugman on some various topics. You know, I'll, I'll fight with Krugman over, over his... Um his uh, team transitory takes over his free trade nonsense and how we need to close off trade there you go he used to be so pro for a trade pro free trade